Keen to start 2021 as they left off in 2020, the team at Xbox has announced seven more games coming to Xbox Game Pass for both console and PC, and as we seem to be saying quite regularly with these kind of announcements, there's some corkers in here. Coming on January 7th to consoles and Android via xCloud, Konami's eFootball PES 2021 season update is hitting Game Pass. Yes, we all know it was better when it was just called PES or even Pro Evo, but after a rocky few years, Konami decided to take a full year off, so to speak, to develop a next-gen game, instead updating the previous game with some gameplay tweaks and roster updates. The result is, honestly, the pretty excellent PES 2021 season update. On the same day and for the same formats, Warner Bros and NetherRealm Studios are giving the gift of superhero fighting with Injustice 2. If you've avoided fighting games or are lapsed from playing them in your youth, Injustice 2 is going to be a big surprise to you, as NetherRealm are the kings and queens of story mode in fighting games, with a hugely cinematic experience running you through the characters one by one. It's a game with a robust online mode too, and plenty of guest characters if you want to get in deeper with it. On January 14th, things get very loot-based as Torchlight 3 is coming to consoles and Android. And look, while Torchlight 3 didn't get the rave reviews we were hoping for, it has a core gameplay loop that we can get behind. And hey, it's in Game Pass, so giving it a try might be a no-brainer here. And PC players aren't going to miss out either, though this lineup does seem to lean heavier towards console players. But what remains of Edith Finch is coming to PC Game Pass on January the 14th as well. This is a gorgeous looking game with an arresting story that requires you to play through multiple vignettes and discover the tale that's going on behind it all. A smattering of indies in Neovorce, Yik and The Little Acre are also coming this January, and we're sure Microsoft and Xbox have more to announce just yet. Oh, and make sure you get your fill of Tekken 7 on console, as that's one of the titles leaving Game Pass on January the 15th. And for more on Xbox and everything else in the world of gaming, head to NME.com.